finish uh, the new project uh, in uh, 2015. Uh, we start uh, in uh, 2005, mm -hmm. in the summer 2005. And uh, this is a very beautiful project because uh, <laughs> it's the first cellar in bioarchitecture in South Italy. Um, Energetic Impact Zero. Every energy we use for the cellar and for the house, uh, we produce this, uh, this uh, energy. So you're completely yes. self-sufficient? Yes, yes. yes. This, these rocks are lava from Vulture, from Monte Vulture. Monte Vulture is a old volcano extinct. And uh, when we cave uh, the, the, the rock for the, for the new building, for the new cellar, oh wow, this is a big uh, rock of lava. And uh, we don't move at don't stop. Here we are in Barile. 600 meter high on top of the Monte Vulture is high 1,300 meter, and here we are in the middle, 600 meter high. Right and left are the uh, our vineyard, very old vineyard, 60, 70 year old, uh, planted my great grandfather. I have uh, six hectares uh, in uh, in production, uh, only Alianico del Vulture grape, and with a six hectare, it's possible for our UC for our UCG produce six. 50,000 bottles, mm -hmm. but we produce only 25, 30,000 bottles because we decided in 2000 when we start uh, to work only for the high quality. We select the grape before and after the harvest. We prune short uh, in the in the winter and we produce a very small quantity. Usually here the harvest is in the end of October, the first week of November. I'm the last in the vulture with the harvest because I'm highest. It's funny this because usually the people when I think of Sud Italy, when I think of red wine in Sud Italy, think of very hot weather, the harvest in the egos in the night. But the vulture is uh, it's totally different because uh, we are in the middle on the mountain. The weather is very cold. Summer and spring are very fresh. We die the scorching night and day. And uh, the Alianico is a later grape for genetic component, but it's a later grape because uh, here it's very cold. <laughs> This is uh, the, our typical soil, the main stratification, the main eruption of vulture. You see lava, ash, ash, lapilli, lapilli, lapilli is a, a little stone lava. I show you. This is a little stone lava. The brown part is the clay and represent when the volcano is sleeping, is dormant. Today this clay is most important because the water draining in the lava, ash and lapilli keep the minerality and after the clay stop the water and the plants not have never succeeded. Welcome, and uh, this is the, our new cellar where we're working and where we produce our titolo. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, it's a very beautiful project. It's uh, the first cellar in bioarchitecture uh, in Basilicata. This is uh, the uh, alcoholic fermentation area. The grape uh, arriving in the harvest in this direction. The orange machine is our uh, the stem machine. It's a very beautiful machine because we work with the old berry, the old berry going in the stainless steel and uh, the alcoholic fermentation is in the stainless steel with a, a, a temperature uh, so controller. And uh, I, I, I love to work for the elegance, the, uh, the finesse in the wine and I work a old berry for this motive. And after uh, alcoholic fermentation with a old berry, I go in the press and my maturation is very short maturation during the two weeks and after two weeks uh, I separate the juice and the skins and the skins going in the press. A very soft pressure, only one atmosphere. 
After the wine going in the barrel, now we're going in the old cellar. The old cellar today is only Barikaya and welcome for the visitors. During one, one year in the barrel before to start for the bottling and after uh, one year in the bottle before to start market. This is the old cellar where we start in 2000. And uh, we start here with 1,200 bottles. And today we're making only uh, our grapes. We don't sell it, don't buy the grapes. No, no, we're making only our grapes. Here we have uh, the tunnel of, uh, of Barikaya and here the titolo aging one year. We use uh, barriques and the tonneau. The tonneau is a 500 liter, 500 liter because I make an experiment with the 300 liter and the 500 liter and after I decide to use only 500 liter. And for the barrel, I have the special barrel, a little bit small normal barrel, 200 liter and with a wood a little bit thicker, more oh. normal barrel. This is my personal cellar. My and uh, Andrea personal cellar. <laughs> we have uh, the grandfather, the great grandfather, oh. the grandfather Generoso, and uh, this is my father in 2000 when we start. And this is the old uh, vintage of Titolo. You have some other wines too. Yes, because we love to drink the other wines. This is uh, the personal. Uh, winery of my, of my, my father, only oh, this. Okay. You see, i vini del prof, vini of teacher prof Salvatore, guai a chi tocca se non per aggiungere. I guess this is your section. Yeah. <laughs> sì. right. Yes, wow. because I drink a lot. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> I, I think you should drink all your wine. <laughs>